Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I am an old guy gaming, and uh, some things have changed. <laughs> so, here's the short version. After I left you guys in the last episode, I started setting up uh, my base here in the Redwoods, and there's something out here thumping around, so i got to be careful. Um... And I started crashing and crashing and crashing and crashing. I mean, literally, I would open a fucking menu and it would crash. Uh, and I got so frustrated that I just quit. Uh, this was on the single player game. And fortunately, um, I have a, a friend, a longtime gaming friend of mine. His name is Stock Gaming. That's his channel. And he invited me to, to come and play on his server, that, which he streams on. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to give that a try and see if things are better. And sure enough, uh, when I played on the server and, you know, took that load off my own, um, uh, my own PC from running it, you know, as, as a server itself, uh, in addition to recording and playing, uh, performance improved dramatically, even to the point where I can keep the clouds on. Uh, I still occasionally get crashes and they're still, oh shit, <laughs> they're still almost always related to, you know, menu access. Um, but... It's just running so much better. And so what I've done is, okay, uh, what I've done is I've basically started over on the server and I just uh, grinded for several hours and more or less, uh, actually less, <laughs> got back to where I was when I left you guys in the last episode on the single player. Um, so first of all, uh, thank you very much to Stock Gaming for inviting me on to his server. Really appreciate that. And make sure you go check out his uh, his uh, content too. He's like I said, he's been a friend of mine for several years. And um, we are still in the process of of tweaking settings on the server. Um, so we don't really have that completely dialed in yet. But we do have. He does have the stacking mod on the server, and I wasn't going to complain about that because I'll tell you what. Not having a stacking mod is such a painful experience in this game, and I'm just not going to complain about that. So we have the stacking mod. Uh, we, he, we, he did install the Super Spyglass mod uh, so that I can use it mostly for, for breeding purposes. And he also has a meat spoiler mod on the server too. So those are the only three mods that we're, that we're running. And let's see, I think our... Uh, I think our gather rates are like two or three times, something like that. And our XP is, no, I think the gather rates are four times, and I think the XP is two or three. Uh, like I said, we're still kind of, oh, uh, did it just turn dark? Uh, no, that was weird. A weird lighting change just instantaneously. Um, So, you know, we're still trying to tweak that. We, uh, I, I think we're still trying to dial in taming. It might be a little high still, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll work on that. Because stocks like me, you know, he wants to have a challenging experience too, and not just you know a easy easy mode. And we we haven't really gotten into breeding yet, so that you know we'll have to be tweaking that stuff when the when the time comes too. Okay, so anyway, uh, I have uh, tamed up two Ankies. Uh, Stock came and picked me up and gave me a ride on his raft to Herbivore Island, and I basically just repeated, a, but on a much more expedited scale. Um, what you guys saw in the last few episodes on the island, you know, to get back to where I was. So we have two Inkies. Uh, Hornita was 95, and I think Horny was 80 or something. So they weren't quite as high as the other two that I had, but they're good enough. Uh, Gorita here, I think, was level 95 when I tamed her, because that was the highest one I could find on the island at the time. She gets the job done. And then we got a very low-level Pelagornis. Um... I don't even, it, it was, you know, tame of opportunity when I first actually started the game. And she's managed to survive, so this is our flying mount at the moment. Um, but we have two very critical tames that we need to get um, right off the bat before we can, you know, seriously uh, get get started here. And yeah, I have died a couple of times too. I don't know why that keeps popping up. I keep telling it to dismiss and then I log back in and it pops up again. Uh, we need to get an Argentavis. We need to get a Dodicarus. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do some clearing in the area because it's kind of hard to tell. Um, it's kind of hard to, to, to visualize, I guess, the landscape in terms of what's going to be my yard with all the, you know, all the stuff in the way. Plus we need to, you know, we need it for building anyways. So 
Um, you know, this place isn't bad. It's just not real level, uh, but we can make it work if we had to. But we might kind of move back up this way uh, some more too after I, you know, again, like I said, just kind of get some more clearing done. Uh, I arrived here last night in the dark and it was getting late in real life and I needed to go to bed. Uh, so, but I, I stuck it out and cleared all of the stuff that was around this meat area to make this stone base so that I could put my critters inside to keep them safe. Because this is, you know, this is the Redwoods. <laughs> it's very dangerous. I, uh, you know, as uh, Murphy's Law would have it, you know, when I did arrive, my dinos ran off to chase something else that attacked us. And I got stuck in between two, um, what the hell are they called? Allosaurs, two Allosaur babies that I tamed because I killed the mother. And just out of nowhere, a, a level 40 Thylacaleo just pounces, kills the two baby aloes and starts eating me. And finally, you know, my dinos came back and, and saved me. <laughs> it's just, that's the way it goes here in the Redwoods, man. That's the way it goes at Ark in general, but the Redwoods in particular, this is a very dangerous place. But it's also a very neat place too. Um, I, I'm I'm planning on tentatively planning on having a treehouse base of some sort, uh, but the treehouse is very expensive to make. It's some, something like two hundred or four hundred so many pace just for the wooden one. There, there's no way I can do that immediately. So we're just going to have you know this little ground starter base. Uh, but eventually, you know, the plan is to have a treehouse base, have a big barn, have a big yard, um, and you know get set up for breeding. Because we don't have cryopods, um, breeding is going to be a lot more involved in terms of, you know, needing space for a lot of animals kind of thing. Uh, and I might do things a little bit differently, too. Uh, on Fjordr, I I bred the dinos and then I just started using them because they worked. But here, I don't think I'm going to do that so much. Um, for the boss dinos, we're just going to we're going to breed and coal and breed and coal and breed and coal and not actually raise a humongous army until we get to the point where we're ready to actually uh, use those dinos. So that's the tentative plan for that. Okay, so let's see. First order of business today is Argentavis and then Dodicris. Um, preferably in that order, but you know if it turns out that we get it in the opposite order, that's fine too. In order to get my uh, dinos out of here the trike in particular because he's our he's the guy that saves our ass when stuff happens uh, i'm gonna actually have to pick the walls up to get him out so let's do that now so i personally haven't um uh i haven't worked with asa in terms of actual you know, like server settings and what stocks uh been doing is he's been trying to figure it out and i guess uh, you know, because it's on Nitrato, which is the only host that you, you we can use. I guess they don't have yet, you know, like GUIs or pre-configured ways to adjust those. So he, he's having to manually add lines to like the game settings, any file to uh, to make all this stuff work. So we're trying to figure it out. And like I said, more tweaking is going to be needed before we find the sweet spot for everything. We almost lost um, Hornita last night. Uh just from combat and she had a couple of leeches on her when I went through the swamp that I forgot to remove so you know those will slowly drain health uh, but we managed to uh, keep her alive which is good um okay so yeah let's put the let's put the walls back now this is again this is just something I very hastily put together just so they would be safe because this is a server right this isn't single player where i can just log off and everything stops so i had to make sure the critters were secure uh, before i logged off okay we're just gonna leave well you know actually here let's let's take pella out so that way she's readily available but i'm gonna keep her parked up on the on the roof here so nothing can get to her and make sure you're passive you are okay good good all right fun fun um i currently still have everything just on medium settings and i think for at least for the time being i'm going to keep them that way uh, because it is just running so well in terms of frames and it still looks good i mean you know, even if you put this game on the lowest settings, it still doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not as bad as you might think. You know, it's certainly not 
uh, you know, as good as it is with the higher settings, but it, it's, it's really not that bad. But, you know, I like the medium settings and they seem to be working for me. So we'll just keep going with that for now. What is that? I mean, every little sound just creeps me out. <laughs> you never know what's around here, you know? Uh, okay, I don't know what that was. We got to stay close to Gorita. She's, and the Anx too. Um, they, it, without these three dinos, we would not survive here. I guarantee you. It just wouldn't happen. Okay, so let's see here. Um... All right, I got to figure out what the hell's making that noise. It's right behind our house here. Or maybe it's down on the beach. Oh, yeah, it's probably maybe that Diplo or something. See, one nice thing about this location is we don't, you know, we don't have to worry about anything coming off the river to get us at least. I uh, just... <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, but obviously we have to worry about stuff coming off the mountain to get us in, from the woods. All right. So um, I was told by you guys in the comments that there's a YouTuber named Fat Dog or something like that. And he's actually... There's a raptor over there. He's actually designed some very simple uh traps and i went and checked out his channel and uh it's it's just it's brilliant uh real super simple traps for argentavis for rexes for you know different types of dinos and uh, so we're gonna do that and, uh, and all credit of course goes to to fat dog hold on a second is that actually his name let me make sure so i'm giving the credit where credit's due here captain fat dog okay yeah so Captain Fat Dog is is the uh, the guy, and uh, so check him out, you guys. Um, he's got, like I said, he's got some real, just super simple but brilliant uh, traps for Argentavis and for uh, Rexes and you know other other critters like that. And thank you guys in the comments for for pointing that out to me because I really appreciate that. Um, so the, you know, not my idea at all. Uh, all credit goes to Captain Fat Dog. Okay, so anyway, let's uh, let's do that. So we're gonna need to make some stone pieces. Um, let me see what I currently have in here. Oh, you know the other thing I need to make ASAP. Oh, actually, you know what? I gotta set a couple more things up. I, yeah, I was in such a hurry last night that I just didn't get to it. Um, let's get these set up right now. There's that raptor. It's level 95. Oh, uh, we are on max difficulty too. So in other words, um, 150 is our max level. For dinos. Okay, let's harvest him so it doesn't attract hyenodons, which are in the area. And also we need the giblets anyways. Uh, yeah, I, I completely forgot. I still have to set this base up. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause the camera here, get the base finished setting up and then I'll bring you guys back and we'll go do some taming. All right, guys, I am back and I have the base uh, pretty much set up with all the essentials. So we got a fabricator here, but I have very little gas, so I'm going to have to make an oil run. Uh, feeding trough there, smithy there, mortar and pestles. Uh, we got the meat spoiler here and the normal preserving bin here. We got a fireplace and four forges uh, outside here. I put a couple of um, water cisterns uh, down because it does rain a lot in the redwoods and put water taps on there. And then I made, oh shite, uh, then I made a, uh, uh, what level are you? A corral. Oh, he's only level 15. Here. And um, because, uh, well, we needed to anyways, but uh, I nabbed this uh, little carnotaur here uh, because his mama came in and started attacking my critters. And so, you know, tame of opportunity, right? Uh, okay, so we're going to, I think we're going to keep... Um, I don't know. I wonder if we should take the Anx with it. They're just so slow, but they are good fighters and tanks. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's. Oh, hold on. Let's um, let's just risk it. All right, we'll be fine on the trike. <laughs> Famous last words. Um. And I, I got, I know I got to put a gate in too, but I'll do that later. Okay, so I've got all the pieces here um, for the RG trap. In fact, I tell you what, let's before we proceed. I had an RG fly right into camp here too. It was only level ten. Let's just practice this real quick, based upon Captain Fat Dog's video. So you put the foundation down. Uh, like that. Uh, no, wrong camera mode. Then you put three doorways in, uh, double doorways. One there, one there, and one here. Then you take the ramp and you... Oh, look at that. I just locked up. Okay, yeah, it still does happen, but it just doesn't happen as frequently, so I'll be right back. Oh, look at that. We got a drop over there. Let's run and get it real quick. I don't know how long that thing's been there. I could just barely hear the noise from it with all the water gurgling. It's nice to know there's a drop right next to the base. In fact, we should keep that in mind so we don't block it. I ended on pack worthless. Very nice Anki saddle, however, and... A tree sap tap, which is going to be useful. A trophy case we can use later on. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. I'll take that loot. For sure. As far as I know, stock's got that all set on default. Um, in fact, most of the server... Well, I don't know. A, a good portion of the server is just set on whatever the default is because we're still trying to figure out how to make all those adjustments. Um, all right, you know what we're going to do then? Let's... Um, Let's go in here for a second. And one of you already has a good saddle I got on Herbivore Island. It's you. So we'll swap your saddle out for the better one. Nice. And let's also give you some melee damage. Okay. We'll put this back here for now until I get my gate made. And the rest of this stuff can go in here for now. So that gives us uh, two tree saps that we've gotten from drops, which is really nice. Stone. Oh, look at that. Two, two behemoth gates. Nice. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Um, what we got to do is we got to put the ramp in. And I think, yeah, we want the, the lower grade. Uh, but it's got to go in this way. And how do we get it? Press E to flip. No, not like that. We need to get it. The, oh, I just had it. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then we put the doorway in the side like this. Okay. And then we aggro the RG. We run through this way, Arch gets caught, and then we just open the door and it traps it and it can't get out. So pretty cool, man. Very, very simplistic, very, very effective. Um, But unfortunately, there's, well, fortunately, unfortunately, there's, I was just going to say there aren't a lot of Argies around here, but what do we have here? Oh, that's a level 20. That's a level 30. <sighs> kind of low. You know what? I guess we could grab the 30 just to test out the trap, I suppose. Um, you need to be passive. We could try it. Oh. Paraceratherium. Don't do that, man. You just scared me. Uh... Just try to think. Do I want to really mess with a 30, though? We could use it to then pick up a Dodic. But, yeah, you know what? I don't think I will. I, this will work. It's I, I just watched the video. It works great. <laughs> so let's pick this up. And we're going to go up probably more closer to the top, 
excuse me, to the top of the mountain. Um, or wherever we, well, we're going to go wherever we find a, a decent level arch. Put it that way. And that's where we'll set it up. All right. Um, let's put you back on neutral and follow to me. And I think we're ready to go. I've got um, I've got a crossbow with with a hundred bolts. I've got a, a long neck with a hundred uh, 101 actually simple rifle rounds and another long neck with a hundred and one trank darts. So we're as well armed as we can be at the moment. I don't know why that damn death marker continues to show up every time I dismiss it. Is it something we can turn off here? Uh, no, that didn't turn it off. I'm not so sure I want to turn it off, though, because, you know, we need to know where that is. Can I disable it from here? If I delete, yeah, delete death way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice. That's better because then, you know, then it's actually still there for us when we need it. Uh, I was killed by... Where, where's all the flapping coming from? Oh, we got a bird trapped in the ground. How funny. Uh, what level are you? Level 10. Oh, that's Kirby. Yeah, well, it wouldn't have stayed trapped in the ground. Okay. We'll use you. Uh, what the hell? That's really weird. I was gonna. Are we gonna be able to harvest this thing? What, what the hell, man? <laughs> there we go. Oh man, never a dull moment. That was hilarious. Okay, let's put this in the trikes inventory so we can use it when we actually do the taming. Of course, it may not last that long, but that's right. We can get more. We go kill that Paraceratherium. Uh, okay, so, yeah, let's move up higher on the thing here. Oh, look at that. We got a explore note. Um, I think I'm going to save that because we can use it to level the arch that we get. So it's just kind of right up the hill from the big log. Okay. Very cool. Probably not going to get a Tyranidon, at least not now. Maybe later, we'll see. If we don't find something up on the peak here, then we'll... Then we'll kind of go... We could even cross the river and go up in the volcano area. We'll see. Okay, and I guess we're not going to get up any further that way. Okay, we need to give our guy a stamina break here. Yeah, that's the path that leads all the way up to the peak, but I, I'm not seeing any... I'm not seeing anything from this side. That's a pteranodon down there. Yeah, this old mountain brings back memories. I tamed, um, I think I tamed my very first Rex on this mountain. There's an arch. It's a level I can't, I couldn't quite see. Man, that scares the hell out of me when he does that. Where'd you go? I gotta make the other spyglass. Pretty colors, level 15 though. That's a uh, kind of colored similar to the same one I tamed on the single player game. You're too little. Okay. 
Kill it. Kill it. Get the prime. And give the game an opportunity to spawn in something a little better. The nice thing about the stacking mod is because it does stack the prime, it doesn't all spoil together. So, yeah, I, it's just, it's so nice to have that. In some ways, I, I mean, I know the way this uh, stacks work. What? What is that? I can't tell. Is that a dimorph? Oh, it's an uh, Archiparatix, or however you pronounce that. Okay, cool. Uh, what was I saying? I totally lost track. Oh, I know that's how the devs, you know, develop the game to deal with the stacks. But, you know, honestly, it's just, it gets so tedious to do that. Um, and it's kind of um, the decision between, you know, fun gameplay versus challenge. And there's, you know, that that's a subjective thing because depends on who you are and what what you accept and what you don't for fun gameplay, that kind of thing. So I completely get that, but for me, it's just a little bit much, especially, you know, as you advance in the game and get more and more stuff and then super tedious inventory management is what it amounts to. Anyway, all right, well, uh, don't really see a lot going on up here. I guess we could go ahead and pass on down to this side and see what there is to see. The The further south we get, though, the less or, or the fewer RGs we're going to see, so we want to kind of stick more to the north. Some hyenodons over there, and either a micro raptor or another one of the Archeo thingamadoodles. I think that's an Archeo thingamadoodle. All right. We'll leave the hyena dons alone for now. Just going for a nice stroll in the woods. It's a beautiful day. Until something bad happens. All right. I see raptors down there. Um, I certainly wouldn't mind getting some nice high-level raptors for uh, yard guards. That's an alpha. All right, we're going to kill that. See if we can get some good equipment. We have full health, right? Yep. We'll make sure we have full health and full stamina. And uh, we'll kill that alpha. I saw it right to the... Yeah, it's right there. Hold still. Hold still, Trikey. Can I stand on your head? I can. <laughs> That's awesome. Get a little bit higher viewpoint here. Okay. Uh, we might have to go down there. There's other raptors down there, though, too, so I want to be really careful. Okay, let's go ahead and we've got some normal raptors over here. Why don't we take them out first? There's a lot of raptors. Thing is though, if they attack the head of the trike, they do, they just tickle him because their head's so strong, you know. Okay, so that eliminates the normals in the immediate vicinity. I'd like to get the hide off of them, but that uh, <laughs> alpha could just come jumping right out of the bushes at us. So let's be really careful here.
Okay. This is the last... Uh, I think that's it right over there. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Sounds like we got a cat, too. He was boosted. All right, let's let's get our stamina back before we engage this guy. Uh, you're it's back. Okay. All right, I need to use my scope here. Oh, for goodness sakes, this is terrible. There we go. He's angry now. Doing 411 damage per hit. That's not too bad. You might want to move, Pteranodon. If we time it just right and the raptor doesn't change position, we can pretty much do this without him touching us at all. Trying to flank us. Whoops. Okay. There are Trudons there, so... Let's deal with them first, because I don't want them messing with me when I get off to harvest the alpha here. We're going to get a lot of prime from this. It would be perfect for taming. Uh, what did we get, by the way? A pair of hide gloves. And it looks like that's it. Well, they're better than what we have, so I can't complain. And we got a couple points ourselves. I'm pumping melee damage right now. Okay, thanks for providing the prime for our RG team. Appreciate it. Get rid of all this stuff. Don't need any of that. Okay, we'll keep the we'll keep the arrows. And you got a couple levels too, so uh, let's get your melee to 450, and then we'll probably start working on your health. The rest, your stamina and all that's really pretty good. All right, let us continue looking for an RG. <laughs> One rocks right out of the bushes. How funny is that? Definitely not the right level, but that still was hilarious. <laughs> oh man, never a dull moment, right? Did we, did we get his talents? Yeah, he. Uh, they must have gone into you. Oh, wow, look at that Philo. He was actually up in the tree. What level is that guy? Yeah, he's pretty low. I I would eventually like to get a Thylakaleo for sure. Because they're good cave cave critters. Yeah, so he was up in the tree. It almost looked like he was kind of glitched though. Uh and wasn't able to leap on us. 
Man, that's scary. Okay. You are following me and you're on neutral. Okay. So that way, if we do get thumped, um, you'll be able to protect me. All right. There's a megatherium down this way. We could tame those for Broodmother, but I don't know. I, I, I just found the Therizina so effective against Broodmother that I'm not sure if we really need to, you know? All right. We're not going to go down into the swamp. We're not going to find Argies down there anyways. Uh, what's the matter? Oh, I'm hungry. Okay. I'm going to need to take a drink here pretty soon, but I'm going to... I want to wait until... I'm all the way down on my water. Because I only have one jar with me at the moment. I love the colors on that Trinidad, but it's just a shitty low level. That is so cool looking though, man. The black and fluorescent green. Uh, what do we got? A cat or a thylo? A cat. Grab the hide and the keratin. We're going to need it. All right, let's go up this way. I really wish the dimorphs didn't sound exactly like Argies or very similar to Argies. Because it makes you think there's one there, you know? What? Okay, there's an Arge in the bushes. And it is a 15. Come on, game. What the hell? <laughs> You're going to have to do better than this. I like the colors on him, though. There is a Carnotaur down there. We have 187 prime already. Um, level 20. Yeah. You know, I do like the Carnotaur's um, um, headbutt attack, I guess. This is actually pretty nice. That little baby we nabbed is 70 something, so it's not. A terrible level. It's not the best, but it's not the terrible either. Um, you know what? We we don't actually need more prime. We just need hide. So let's keep using the hatchet. Got a galley running away from something. And here come the bugs. Get out of here. I should be harvesting those for chitin, actually. Uh, and it's just that they're so hard to see. Oh, there's one. Do we use an axe or a pick for these? I don't remember. We got 13 chitin off of that one with the axe. Let's find. Let's look for. See if we can find another one. Like I said, they're just so hard to spot. We'll probably pick up some snails, too, for the cementing paste. Here, let's do this. Get all the foliage out of the way, and then we can see better. Uh, I think that might be one right there. No. <laughs> That's a stick. Uh, there were three dragonflies, or maganuras. And three... Okay, here we go. All right. Yeah, so we only got nine chitin with the pick. But I know that's probably somewhat random, too. I mean, it kind of stands to reason that, you know, because the hatchet's better at getting hide and... 
chitin and stuff like, or I mean uh, keratin, then it's probably also the tool to use for these. But I can't, I can't see the rest of them, and I don't have time to keep doing this. So let's just go. All right, let's drop the berries, so we're not so heavy. One thing I wish they would have changed or at least toned down was getting all of the useless stone tool crap in your inventory when you kill something. You know, I mean, what's the point? You can make that stuff right from the start, so it's not like you need to get it off of a drop. There it goes. Oh my god, there's so many of them. <laughs> You can't beat the trike, man, for for the knockback and the the bony plate, you know? It's just... This is a very underrated tame, I think, in this game. These guys are so tough for little critters. There. I think we got them all. There's a bear. We definitely want a bear. It's just not a priority tame right now. Plus, it's only level 8 anyway. You can get some pelt off of it, though. I like how the patches of fur get torn off as it gets damaged. That's a very gruesome but realistic effect. Now, there's a screenshot. Okay, here. Let's, we're going to have to back you up. Uh, do I want the deer in the background? Probably not. Okay, let's remove this. And we'll get the bear right in the center. Look at that screenshot, man. That's cool. Maybe we could actually get a little closer so we get right up into the mouth. We're the mighty hunter, and this was our kill. Yeah, we, I guess we could have the moose off in the background. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, nice. Oh, got to harvest him. 105 pelt, nice. I believe... I think our gather rates are times four, if I remember what Stock told me. So not too bad. It's very generous, but not like crazy. Crazy easy. Here's the other thing too, man. Just, oh, wow, there's another bear. Just from my own personal perspective, two bears. An 85, that's decent level. And a 15. He does that growl when I release the glass. Well, not every time, apparently. Hmm. Um, I guess we could try and knock out the 85, but no, nah, that's not what we need right now. And A and B, when we do get one, I want something a little higher than 85, even though 85 is not terrible. Okay, so anyway, um, what I was about to say is there's a Bigfoot. The, uh, I've had to start over three times. We did our, our original start, then I restarted uh, with the single-player settings off, and then I had to restart again on the server. So I've already done that grind three freaking times, and so I'm actually not too... Uh, I don't mind so much, you know, slightly easier settings in terms of grinding because of that. Oh, wait a minute. Is that an arch? No, it's another dimorph. Okay, we have another explorer note. Um, we can mark those, right? How do we do that? Waypoints. Right click? Double click? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to call this... Um, 
Explorer in. Very cool. Okay. Really love the new map. Uh, it's just so much better than the old one. But we'll come back and grab that when we're trying to level something. The other one uh, we'll be able to find easy because it's just right up the hill from the uh, from the big log. Oh, we got a snake. Damn it. I need to drink. And here comes the bugs. Okay, let's hit this one with the hatchet again. Yeah, 41 chitin. I'm going to say the hatchet is probably the best tool to use. Come here, coward bird. Little baby level 17 terror bird. Not really interested. All right, there's another snake down there. Let's keep working our way this direction. Oh, you're not dead yet. Oh, he's a level 150 snake. Dang, man. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the, that's actually the very first level 150 anything I've seen on this map. But it's nice to know that they're there. <laughs> At least we know that's working, right? Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Melee damage, I think, to 450 is what we said for you. Dang it, I hate it when we hit dimorphs because they tear your armor up. And they swarm you. Is that it? We done? How's our armor look? Ah, it's okay. It's not that bad. I don't know what the hell that is. Something. Get the hell out of here. Get over it, man. Wow. Something big just bit the dust over there. What was it? I hear raptors. It doesn't look like we aggroed the Paraceratherium. I just like saying that. Paraceratherium. Much better than Parser. Well, we're having a fun little uh, nighttime cruise in the Redwoods, but we're not having much luck finding a good Archie. It's okay. We'll keep looking. We, what we might need to do, like I said, is cross the river and go up uh, into the volcano area if we don't uh, come across one here fairly soon. There's a Spino over there. What level is he? Level 5. Seriously? Let's go kill him for the XP in his uh, sail.
Man, those guys are fast. This is a really... Oh, there's a drop. Let's go get that first. The Spino can wait unless he attacks us. This is a really nice area. It's just not as central as I, I want it to be. It's further to the south uh, southwest. Okay. Hopefully there's nothing nasty around. Alright, looks like in that one... Well, we got 60 cementy paste. That was worth the price of admission right there. Narcotic trap. Not particularly useful. That's more of a PvP thing. But the submitting pace was was the best deal out of that for sure. Okay, let's drop these berries. Okay, where'd that Spino go? Man, it is dark. Yeah, it's long gone. That's alright. I'm gonna hop off here really quick and fill my water jar. Wait, can I do that from the rain? Oh, I can! Look at that! Oh, that's cool! Okay. Don't even have to hop off. All right, guys. Well, I think we're out of time here, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and then we're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode. I might wait until daytime, though, just, you know, so we can all see a little bit better. And then uh, when morning hits, uh, we'll take off and continue our uh, search here for an Argentavis. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. God, look at all the raptors coming. Jeez.